Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night from wherever you are watching from. This is Anoto in China. I'm finally back in China. And right now I'm chilling on or in this amazing airport. Uh, this is a very, very big international busy busy airport here in Guangzhou, China and uh, the name of the airport is Bayun International Airport so this is just a big big terminal one of the big big terminal that is uh, here in Guangzhou, China and I'm waiting for my flight it's in the next one hour and I thought what, what can one hour do? One hour can make me a million. So let's do a vlog about the Bayun International Airport here in Guangzhou. It says welcome to Guangzhou and this is the beautiful beautiful city of Guangzhou. And that is Bayun International Airport. So, guys, welcome on board. This is Anoto in China. Anoto in China is finally back in China. For those who are asking, why do you call yourself Anoto in China and we can't see you in China? So, here I am. Anoto in China is a reality right about now. So, I'm um, just walking randomly I'm, i want to shoot some random uh, content of uh, some very very important things like why is the plane painted white and why are planes painted white why white of all the colors why white and uh, we'll be talking about some interesting facts about the plane, especially the Boeing 787, or basically the Boeing. So right now, this is what's happening here in Bayun International Airport. And uh, I'm looking for a Boeing 787 because uh, this vlog is purely meant for that, for a Boeing 787. If I get it, you can be able to build up a story around that. So, let me search if I can see a Boeing 787. This one looks like an Airbus. There's a Boeing landing, but that is a bit far. Also, this one is an Airbus. No, this is Boeing 7, 722. There's another one landing over there. Let me look for a Boeing 787 here in Bayun International Airport. And you can see how this place is. No entry, so. We have shops there, we have a place where people can chill around this place, you can see the uh, designers 
over there and uh, some people are chilling and uh, trying to rush to grab their uh, flight and stuff like that. So if I get to see a Boeing 787, we'll have a story around it so that you guys can be able to relate. So last year, China, first of all, I must say China is very progressive in terms of technology, infrastructure, development. And uh, actually last year, China was able to manufacture its first, first plane or aircraft. China was able to manufacture its first aircraft and we'll be talking about that in a few but for now I want to search for a Boeing 787 oh, it's just a big big Boeing let's search because it's an airport we can't fail to miss it and see welcome to Guangzhou another view of the city Guangzhou. This is a gate that is very not busy at, at the point, but uh, maybe later it will be very, very busy. And these are things just to carry your luggage. And this one is for those who are late or for those who are tired, you can actually walk on that. And it's a very, very long, long long stretch there's another flight here there's a Boeing that has landed over there it's, that's a Boeing but I want to see a Boeing on a close range like this if I could get to see a Boeing on a close range like this that could be awesome I have like 20 minutes to tell you guys stories about the Boeing or some interesting facts about the Boeing or the plane so I need a big big machine for me to elaborate that to you these are other gates not so much going on the cargo is being uh, loaded over there but right now I'm not interested in that I want to spot a Boeing 787, a big machine, so that we talk about it. So many travelers, we have a layover. First, I've been on the move since uh, Kenyan time, three yesterday, and right about now, it's 8.31 so I started my journey in the afternoon but now it's 8.31 Kenyan time but Chinese time is 1.31 so quite a, a long way coming so maybe in 21 hours I'll have arrived after, after 21 hours that is but uh, let's see if I can be able to spot a Boeing 787. Right here there's also several shops. Not several, this is just actually one shop. And I'm very, very sleepy. My eyes, very, very sleepy. And uh, here, this one, they use it to transport People, if you are tired and you want to save on some time, you can actually climb or board one of those and you pay merely 10 yuan and you are good to go. This is what's happening around this place. Some people with disabilities are being helped, more people, more luggage carriers. This gate is idle, not so much going on here. We'll be waiting for the next 
available uh, clients. This one looks big. Is it a Boeing 787? Looks big actually. But let's get close to it and see whether or not we can be able to have some glimpse of it. Boeing 7, 8, 7. Oh, just basically a big, big Boeing. There's also another one coming. This one. They are loading the people. And they just passed me. So that's what's happening around this place. And what do we have here? So another gate. People are loading some items into. Then, here is where customs are, but I can't go there where the customs are because it's not good for me. What could this machine be? Ah, nice. So, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This probably is a Boeing 787. This one. Boeing 787. Look at the big turbine, the big engine, the big machine, the Boeing 787. And they are loading some items onto its trunk actually. And this is what's happening right here. A myriad of activities happening. A myriad of activities happening right here. So, let me have a seat because I am seated next to this amazing, humongous, big machine. The boy 787. And uh, I want us to talk briefly about this big, big, big machine. First of all, it has how many wheels? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight wheels and the two front ones, nine, ten. So, ten wheels. The Boeing 787. This big, big machine. Right. So, on to our first question. The, that lifter is lifting the people very up. Uh, very nice, very nice. So on to the first question. Why is the plane painted white? Think for a moment. Have you ever seen a red, red, uh, like a, a red airplane or a green airplane or a yellow, yellow for the DHL maybe, but have you ever, or most of the time you see a plane, what color comes in mind? As I pause on the back of this. So the white color, as, this, as you can see, this one is a white color. So first, from basic science, the one we were told in uh, primary school, the color white actually reflects. Um, Heat. Look at that. The engine is like being cooled or something. There's some vapor coming from the engine. So as I was saying, the white color reflects uh, light. And there's another Boeing over there. 787. Another one. So the white color reflects uh, uh, the sun's rays. So meaning uh, it's a good way to cool the aeroplane because it reflects the light. If it could be black, it could be absorbed and then there could be a lot of thermal heat inside the plane. So the white color 
set sunnet and which is an effect of keeping the aircraft cool so that's one of the reasons why they paint this big big machine uh, white and also this uh, comes uh, to its own high speed uh, where uh, there's a lot of friction in the air and uh, actually white color reduces that type of friction because uh, they say that uh, uh, white is a, a calm color it can reduce the friction as the light is penetrating inside, uh, into the sky so hence they paint this beautiful uh, machine white uh, and also why is the plane painted white they paint it white to minimize the solar radiation that will cause also the thermal heat inside and it could be dangerous for the passengers so hence this machine is painted white so the white also has a metal oxide content that helps to protect the aircraft. So that's why they paint them white. So some of you guys can be asking a question. Why are other planes or what are the colors of other planes? Or are there special colors for other planes? So I can say yes, there are special colors. For example, for the military uh, military crafts they normally tend to have colors that tend to come large in the sky so by doing that they cannot be easily detected so military uh, crafts are painted for they are given that camouflage effect and also um, some military flying in the night for night vision mode they are purely black or grey in colour so that they cannot be detected for military purposes so that you don't expose your arm but for this one, this one is white in colour so also you, can, you have seen the jet fighters that you wear the, their colours are a bit uh, uh, dull colors to make them also not be easily seen so that's why they are those colors this lot has uh, So, white is a color that reflects sunlight. So, that's what one of the pointers we are getting from uh, this conversation. Another reason uh, why the plane is painted white is because um, the white color can be very easily identified in case the plane went missing or in case of an accident you can easily spot the white color from afar so um, it is easy or it is recommended to paint the passengers uh, aircraft to paint it white for visibility uh, in case of an accident so that they can be able to retrieve it and uh, stuff like that and then another reason why they paint the craft uh, white is because uh, on the point of visibility in the sky also birds are there so um, if they could uh, camouflage the sky they could when a chunk of birds uh, flying they could just uh, enter into that turbine and maybe cause uh, or be catastrophic so the white color is very evident for the plane for, for the birds to see and to avoid and to prevent hazardous uh, accidents from the birds so hence another reason why the plane is painted 
white in color. All right. And also um, another reason why they paint this beautiful uh, machine, why they paint it white, because white is a bright color. And in case of any damages, any cracks, it will be easily spotted. And then it can be made, so that's why they also prefer to make this uh, airplane white to spot the damages. And I have this amazing piece of art. It looks very, very good. This one. This maybe could be Guanju. Let me go up so I see if I can see another. Or maybe this way? Oh no, there's no way this way. So let me go up through this point. Where is this going? Oh nice, so let me go up. As we continue this conversation of why the plane is painted white. And I'm coming live from China. An auto is back in China. And right now I am in Guangzhou city. For those who know Guangzhou, the harbor uh, through which so many, so many uh, ships and vessels uh, normally ship out goods manufactured here in China the rest of the world are going up. So Guangzhou, Guangzhou city here in China. So let's see if we could be able to see another another Boeing. Now it seems like uh, there's nothing going on on this other end. And time is... Oh, I have 15 minutes to finish my story. And as I finish, I need to tell you something about China and uh, the manufacturing uh, of uh, the first aircraft here in China. They are going on this other end. Let's see what's happening on this other end. There's a Boeing, although it's uh, very, very far. Very, very far. But let's see what's happening. This is uh, an Airbus. It's an Airbus. That's an Airbus. That's a Boeing. That's a Boeing. That's a Boeing. That's from Japan. That's from Thailand. That's from Singapore. And these others are from China. So that's what's happening here. So this is also a better view. Another Boeing is taking off somewhere, somewhere there. And small items being loaded into the aircraft. Quite a busy airport here. And the city of uh, Guangzhou is being seen there. Hello. Hello. Hey, how are you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, take a Airbus. Boeing. Boeing. Mm. Boeing. Ah. Airbus. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. How are you? What is your name? My name is Tan Baohu. Tan Baohu. Mm. My name is uh, Anoto. Uh, I'm from uh, Kenya. You know Kenya? Jagashi Anoto Zai Kenya. Ah, Kenya. Kenya. Hangong Shin French. Hangong Shin. Ni hao ba? Ni hao ma? Yeah. Kenya. 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 I came uh, today from Kenya, Fei. Uh, uh, Africa, Fei. Yeah. Uh, I stay in, I'm going to Kunming City. Kunming, Kunming. Yunnan ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I study there. Shui Shi. Yeah. Shui Shi. Study. Yeah. Kunming Institute of Dolan. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Also you? Kunming? Or which city are you going? 
，你就在那，哎，大连，大理，大理，哦，大理，你说那个大理，大连，连，大连，对，哦哦，就是大连 ，OK， 哎，哦，非常好，非常好，呀。没问题，<笑>没问题，没问题，没问题。OK，OK， 真棒，呀，非常棒，呀呀，呃，好，呀呀呀，走起走，谢谢，谢谢，样样好，样样好 ，OK OK， 拜拜。Oh, I had missed speaking Chinese and actually, when I was in Kenya, I told you guys. Most of the people are asking me about my experiences in China. So, as you can see, this is an airport. I know nobody. I just be myself, and I'm getting very good, positive vibes around this place. So, those are very, very good memories that I take along. Chinese are very, very amazing, for sure, for sure. So, we are possessing. On. Look at that small, small, small. That one. Small. Is it a lorry or something? All right. So another reason why the uh, the white color in most of the planes is because they say uh, white color is a very economical color. So white color is actually more affordable or cheaper compared to other colors uh, so that's why they prefer to paint uh, the aircraft uh, white so basically if you paint a plane with white you actually save more than when you paint it with another color like that one has a patches of different colors but uh, it's okay, so and they normally say for you to paint such a plane, you need almost 240 liters for a Boeing 737. You need 240 liters of white paint to paint the Boeing uh, 337. Uh, but for the Airbus, the Airbus, you need merely 3,600 of uh, liters of white paint, that one. And uh, this one no normally adds weight to the, the aircraft, uh, but we'll talk about that in a few. So, you guys can ask me, or you guys can be thinking, between the white color and other colors, which one weighs more? Because imagine if this planes had no color, could the weight be less or could be more? But actually they say if you paint a plane, by the time you are done, you have added at least up to 600 kgs more. So it means the paint is a bit heavy. It adds to the total weight of the the, the plane. It contributes up to 540 to 600 kg more. It's another plane going. It's almost taking off on the farthest distance. Over there. So paints normally add the weight of an aircraft. If it's a smaller aircraft, maybe 200 uh, kgs. If it's a bigger, maybe up to 600 kgs more. And there's another boy trying to find its way into the sky. So basically what I'm trying to say is if we paint a plane, we have added almost the weight of seven to eight passengers onto the plane. So the paint alone on this aircraft is seven, eight or nine people more. OK, 
cumulative kgs combined so that tells you that uh, the weight looks like a tiny piece of film but at the end of the day it makes it very 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 heavy close to the weight of uh, five six seven people and uh, during the painting process uh, they normally paint in first of all after they have this body how oh, my subject is going after they have the body they normally scrub it so that the first paint will be the first coat will be uh, blend easily so they normally paint the blend three times this is the third coat you see but uh, they normally paint it three times the first one, the second one, and the third time. And uh, my subject has mo moved. I need to move closer. Let me look for another plane. My subject has moved, so I have to move to finish up my story about why the white color. And also, another reason, because this one I can just explain as I walk, why they paint white on the plane is because the white color is economical, because once you paint the plane white, the next time you are painting the plane is after six years. So that is very, very economical and uh, it saves you a lot of money. I need to start walking down this place. Escalator. In Russia we say escalator. Why are planes painted white? Today you are learning about why the planes are painted white. Economical color. White is lighter. But the, by the time you have that painted white, you have added weight up to 540 or 600 is to the aircraft. So I think this is a better subject. I need to talk and you see something so that you relate. So back to this subject of mine, the point seven eight seven. And this one, it seems maybe it will also be leaving soon. And guys, I wanted to tell you something. Did you know that uh, this plane you see is 53% uh, made up of something else that is not metal. So 53% of this flight is made up of plastic. So you can imagine 53% plastic that comes in form of carbon fiber so 53 percent is made up of plastic so you can say 47 percent metal and 53 percent uh, plastic so or carbon fiber and with the Boeing 787, they have an additional feature now of an electric wind. So you can just tap on the screen and tap somewhere down there and it can give you that night mode. Night mode that you can sleep very peacefully. There's other planes like Shenzhen, you can see Shenzhen, where this DJI was manufactured. And uh, also on the cockpit, the windows never open. Those 
windows on the cockpit do not open so it's good to know about it and they the plane normally they can move reverse and they have an electric brake when they land they have an electric brake where they can help uh, stop moving so they have an electric brake this one and time is really really moving I have to start walking and they normally say the brain of a Boeing 787 is like uh, 16 human brains so it is fully operational and it is really thinking or it is really functional in performing its task. My time is limited. I need to start finding my way back but my subject has been uh, maybe my I, I, I need to find a better subject let me move somewhere if I'll be able to see what's happening on this other end There's another one here, but it's a small one. And uh, the Boeing 787, not this one though. It's made up of 787. No, this, this is not a Boeing 787. What I'm saying is, uh, the Boeing 787 is made up of 2 million parts. 2 million parts assembled together. This cobra is the one that NAMS normally takes passengers from the plane and transfers them. It's quite a big, a big, a big, a big uh, bus. And uh, by the time they are loading the plane, the average weight for a plane to take off, it needs to be at least somewhere 238,000 kilograms. That's the recommended weight that is required before a plane takes off. 238,000 kilograms for a plane to take off. Basically, a Boeing 78. 238 kilograms quite a heavy chunk of load right there other places are here yeah. actually the Boeing itself has a, a weight of 237, but the recommended weight for it to take off should be 254, 55,000 kilograms for it to take off. So that's quite a heavy chunk of load. And look at this bus, the one I was telling you. And originally the Boeing 787 was supposed to be a Boeing 7E7. E stands for efficiency. And uh, the first Boeing, when it was sold, the tickets were auctioning online for merely 34,000 US dollars a seat. So, so many people were interested in the first Boeing flight. And why do they call it efficient? Because when you're using the Boeing 787, you save 20% of fuel. Unlike when you're using other types of uh, other types of uh, planes. Now, 
There's a dream liner here. Oh, okay, the dream liner is basically also the Boeing 787. They prefer calling it other names. The dream liner. Let's come here and see. That's the dream liner over there. So we walk on this other end. So because the Boeing 787 uh, saves 20% of, of uh, fuel, it is more eco-friendly or friendly to the environment. Because in an era of climate change, global warming is uh, actually good to reduce the effects. And uh, if the Boeing 787 actually saves 20% fuel, but, uh, that one is more effective in terms of uh, carbon global warming effect. So, I'm seeing one, I want to go near it, but I can't see it. And actually, last year, there's a new competitor of uh, planes in the market. And as we look at this amazing bench, aluminium. So, last year, China has started to manufacture uh, planes, actually. Uh, after 15 years, China has been able to manufacture its first plane. And not for inter, not continental, but overseas. So, what is the name of the plane that China manufactures right now? Is it Boeing 787? Is it the Dreamliner? No. As you come to see this Dreamliner, I'll tell you that in a few. So the first plane to be manufactured by Chinese is almost similar to the Boeing. It's called Comac C19. Comac C19. I can't see it here because it's only one, although plants are under to manufacture 15 more. The Comac C19 manufactured by the Chinese. As we observe that beautiful, beautiful tail. And uh, the first flight flew from Shanghai to Beijing or, uh, last year. Uh, it was a success and more plants are underway to manufacture the Comac C919 as I meander through this. So the Chinese hope that the C919 will make it a reliant foreign made technology and it will compete among Boeing and Airbus. So after 15 years of production, Chinese have been able to produce their first, first, first uh, plane. Almost similar to this Dreamliner. And this one is being fueled. They are adding fuel to it. I can see some. But where is the... What are they doing to it? Where is the fuel? Look at this. Dreamliner. They are doing some maintenance to it. So the capacity that the Chinese craft, the Comac C19, it can be able to carry uh, 164 people. I don't know how many people the Boeing carries. Maybe you guys can tell me on the comments below. So what is COMAC? COMAC is basically an, uh, an acronym. It stands for Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China. COMAC, Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China. So that's the name. And also Chinese are in process of developing an electric, fully electric aeroplane. 
uh, still more to come. The Chinese will really shock you as I make way into my next flight. So, at least now you know some few information about the Chinese and also Chinese they normally send some rockets or satellites many satellites some rockets into the space so maybe next time we'll talk about the Chinese space industry but uh, they, in 2022 they sent an, a rocket into the space so China is really impressive I'm so proud to be here in China I'm walking on this escalator. escalator. So, my time is almost here. Let me check. Two zero nine. I think I need to board my next flight to Kunming City. And that's where we start our next episode. So, let's see our schedule. This one shows you the lighting schedule. Cool me. So, where is cool me? So, that's our flight. Cool me. 1455 so let me find my way into the flight and you can see on this terminal it's quite a very extensive terminal I didn't want to focus entirely on the terminal I just wanted to have the discussion about uh, why the plane is painted White. I like information about the plane. This is what's happening. So many shops around this place. So many brands that I want to mention. But you just can see for yourself. So many brands. And you just appreciate as you go. So let me see if my flight is here just meandering, meandering, meandering and these shops these malls ladies uh, lipstick I don't, I'm not so familiar about this so at the same time I'm very sleepy, extremely very very sleepy is it time to go to this hours Am I in the right track? Let me see. I think I need to go in. My friend was seated somewhere here. But let me ask if my time is here. Not here. Ching Wen. Ching Wen. Look at she. Ah, broken. Put the gate. Yeah. Gate at B276 uh, uh, zero. B two seven. I three. go there. No, 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 no. Please. Okay, okay. 
Oh, hey, my friend, I'm going to go almost. Okay. Hey, How much change? To 273. That's it about today. So many people are queuing here for their next transfer. And we are making way. We're going to Kunming City. I'm talking to my cabin. Ken. 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 Why do you think the aircraft is painted white? Uh, it should be uh, things with reflectivity and uh, heat. Mm -hmm. Heat dissipation. White reflects light. It doesn't uh, absorb light. Okay. So then helps maintain the heat. Temperatures internally as well. Okay, okay. Uh, Another reason they say white color is more economical and uh, cheaper compared to cheaper. other colors. And uh, with the white color, you can observe uh, a damage easily and uh, rectify it. Yeah, yeah that's always a main reason. Yeah. Like AGR. Oh, should be more to do with engineering than cost. Yes. And also, in case of an accident, yeah. the white color will be easily visible. And also, for the birds, white color can be easily seen. So, the birds cannot uh, hit the turbines or hit the, the craft. Collisions, huh? Yeah, yeah. And they normally say that uh, for a Boeing, for example, a Boeing 787, the, the total weight of the paint is almost 580 kilograms. In so, terms of one? Uh, no, it adds, it adds 580 kilograms onto the craft yeah, by yeah. just the painting alone. So weight? Yeah. Weight well. Almost the weight of... Uh, Seven, eight passengers. Yeah. 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 International Airport in Guangzhou. This other end, we have so many people coming to this side. Maybe yes. they just landed or something. Let's just make our way. Meandering, meandering around this place. Ah. We want to find our way into our gate so that we can settle as early as possible. So, this is the life of traveling. Moving cities, moving continents. This is a lot in China. So. So. This, now we are informed. Let me end this episode here. And please subscribe and follow for more amazing uh, documentaries of my life here in China. This is a lot in China. Keep tuned for one. Let's meet in the next episode. So see you in the next episode. Coming live from Guangzhou City here in Bayun International Airport. So ciao ciao.